Okay, gather around all, please. This is a very exciting moment. Okay. Come, come, come in. Okay, thank you. So, as you know, this year, eCampus Ontario is taking an attendee-driven approach to our awards process. This means that your feedback, your comments, your notes of inspiration are what are driving who is being recognized here today. I have to say that there are so many incredible messages um, from attendees to the presenters that we still have and that will be shared with you in the coming days. Okay. So the idea is that you as a presenter will receive your cards, we'll mail them to you, we'll find a way to get them to you. So please know that just because you're not receiving an award today, you are loved and people were really inspired by your work. So we will be sharing that with you. It's true. Okay, now I've come, now I've come to it. This is what the table looked like that we were working on in the back. I, I could, didn't have time to count how many we had. I, sh I wish I had, because would, it would be an astronomical number, like 70 or something like that. You were so happy that you chose to participate in this process. Whoops. So the first winner is um, Will Highcoop and Lori Harrison. And I'm going to read two of the comments, my favorites, from Will and Lori's session. I am inspired by providing a clear, manageable, unintimidating format for share back open pedagogy and research. I am inspired by the do-it-yourself nature of the project and small, doable, yet may impact in the course design for the students' benefit. So thank you, Will and Lori. Chris is going to find you and give you your award. And if Will and Lori aren't here, we will make sure to get it to them. Okay. The next candidate, Caleb Domsey. Caleb's session was called Digital Worksheets and the Shadow Work of Academic Librarians. And these are some of the comments that people had for Caleb. I'm inspired by a convincing and engaging talk that changed my views on the importance of database skills for students. Thanks, exclamation mark. Best talk so far, two exclamation marks. <laughs> Second one. <laughs> I am inspired by a specific concrete project, however small, will have a positive influence on student learning. Caleb, where are you? Are you still here? Okay, Caleb, we'll find a way to get you your award. <laughs> Round of applause for Caleb. <laughs> the next award goes to Raprinder Barr and Joseph McMillan. Rupinder and Joseph gave a session called Physics and Astronomy Mastery Modules and Open Learning System. And some of, the some of the feedback says, I am inspired by your passion for experimenting with your pedagogy and your dedication to erasing barriers for student success. I am inspired by the idea of creating a mastery level of modules that focus on concepts rather than correct and incorrect responses was an aha moment for me. Thank you. As Rupinder. And Joseph here, yay! <laughs> we will be sending you your 30 odd comments in the mail. <laughs> oh, so that's so great. Okay, the next one goes to Marnie Seal, Laura Killam, and Sarah Wendor for opening up, starting a conversation with an open day. And these are just two of the highlights. I'm inspired by the collaboration among the staff, faculty, and librarians, and your willingness to share. Thank you. I'm inspired by how thoughtful and intentional you were in creating a space where everyone felt comfortable and emboldened to participate. So good job. Okay, the last two, and these are in no particular order. This one goes out to Lee Chuan Wen from Humber College. The session was titled Open Source Advanced Accessibility Technologies, Building Accessible Digital Experiences. And the comments for this one, I think definitely win in the category of most exclamation marks per <laughs> award. 
I've never seen so many. Here are some of the highlights. Thank you and Humber for your work developing this open tool. It is absolutely needed. Thank you for making web accessibility seem achievable. I am inspired by the future of accessibility, exclamation mark. Learning and having access to information is a human right. I love this tool and I hope it is implemented in every school and library. Is he here? Oh, there she Are you here too? Yeah, come forward. Okay, the last one. This one, um, and Chris, I think you'll need a couple for this one, and I don't know um, whether the students are still here, but this is Will Ju's team and the two students who, who worked with him. And um, their session, I'm sorry, I've lost, was, was called, Why is Communicating Science So Challenging for Students? Visual Graphic Assignments and How They Changed My Course. And again, exclamation marks like to the rooftops. Here are some examples. I'm inspired by the commitment to and awareness of how visual information is processed more effectively across learning modalities. This is a revolution in educational materials. I am inspired by the use of abstract representation is engaging. The research that was done is eye-opening. I'm motivated to encourage this in my classrooms. So is Will Ju here, and are the students here who presented? Okay, we'll get it to him. Thank you everyone so much for participating. And we look forward to you having the experience of reading your cards. Um, it's gonna be a truly lovely experience. Thank you. David, over to you. Lena ruined the surprise. I'm introducing this man here. But now you know his name. <laughs> um, I asked to introduce uh, David because he doesn't need an introduction, so now I can use it for my own purposes this time. <laughs> this uh, link up on the screen is a chance for you to add your name to the list of those interested in the... <laughs> oh, by the way, this is Hattie. <laughs> she is uh, not institutionally affiliated with anyone right now. Uh, okay, so if you get this link and the, the case matters, except for the B, um, you can add your name to the list of those interested in the Ontario Extend MOOC, small m, not in there. <laughs> that was confusing, never mind that. Um, so you can add your name and join us in January. We can all be there together, virtually, uh, going through the modules of Extend. Oh. And, shh, and now, everyone get that down, thank you. If, if uh, we were at about 98 people entered, so this, the 100th person is going to get a mug. So if you were, maybe that person's already here. Um, and now to close the heck out of the conference, our CEO of eCampus Ontario, David Porter. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Eric. I'd like to offer a huge thanks to our conference team. Uh, really inspired choice of venue, uh, inspired choice of program, and just amazing work to bring together over the past two days a wonderful conference. Uh, in particular, Alain Paulson and Julia Martineau, Emma Gooch, and others who have worked in the background throughout and really pulled off a great event. Thank you. When you come away from events like this, your head is so filled with information that it's really hard to figure out which way to go next. Our commitment at eCampus is that we're going to continue to push forward the agenda that we began two years ago. And the strategic themes that guide our activities will continue. We are about access and empowerment. That is what guides us. That's what motivates us on a daily basis, and it's what pushes our programmatic initiatives forward. We are focused on empowering learners and educators. You know that from the conference theme, we see the students that are a part of our higher education system matter a lot to us. And to make that happen, we need to have faculty and instructors who are well 
prepared to work with this generation of learners and to use the technologies and the affordances available to us to create in creative and innovative ways. The third thing that guides our work is the notion of communities, building well-supported communities of practice. That is a key tactic for us. And our vision is really a collaborative, open community of practice across the whole of Ontario. And the rubric that guides that for us is that education is a social good. And it really needs human connections to be powered up and fueled. And we believe that that produces high value community resources and practices. And the more we make them accessible and available to everyone, the better it is for all of us. That's what drives us forward. You met our open fellows in the last session. You get the passion. You get the feeling they bring to the work. We'll surely be looking for more people like that over the next two or three years. So consider yourself a candidate. Moving forward, these three goals drive us forward. We are not retreating from any of them and we will continue to work with you to bring great stuff forward in the province of Ontario. And like every great event, the Olympics is a great example. It's pretty interesting. And so now in accordance with tradition, I declare <laughs> TEF 2018 <laughs> closed and call upon the technology enabled innovators of Ontario to gather one year from now in Toronto to celebrate <laughs> TESS 2019. Join us next year.